Praise and peace, my friends. I'm Charles Matthews. I'm the director of broadcasting here at KPTV. You know, it does my heart good to be able to present you this upcoming broadcast. It will bless you. It will challenge you. It make you say, you know what, Lord? I want more of you. Do me a favor. Call some friends. Call some neighbors. And let them know that we are on the air. And we are giving quality, anointed Christian broadcasting that can change your life. So listen to me. I'm going to come back with you in a few moments and reach you again. But listen, stay tuned for an anointed word that will change your life. And I'm going to see you in a few minutes. Okay? God bless you to then. Bye-bye. My strength come back. I wish I had some help because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. Second Timothy chapter 3. Amen. Starting around verse 1 this morning. Amen. We give God glory today. Amen. For another day's journey. Amen. And the old people used to say, I'm glad about it. Amen. Amen, amen, because he didn't have to wake us this morning, but he did. Yes, he did. And because he did, we owe him a thank you. Thank you. Amen. amen. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. You have it, say amen. amen. If you're still looking, say I'm on my way. Amen. If you don't have your Bible, say I'll catch you later. Amen. Amen. You should find some words similar to these. It says this. Know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Yes. For many shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, mm -hmm. proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Yes. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, farious, displeasers of those who are good, mm -hmm. traitors, headed, high-minded, mm -hmm. lovers of pleasure, more than lovers of God. My brothers and sisters, I want to talk for a few minutes. What in the world is going on? <laughs> what in the world is going on? Let us pray. God, our Father, we thank you this morning for this. Your people, God, we thank you for this, your word that we're about to go into. God, we pray that you open up our minds and our hearts of understanding that we may receive what you have to say to us on this morning. God, we ask that you let us decrease as you increase even the more. We ask that you let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be accepting your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let the church say amen. 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 You may see the day, man. What in the world is going on? Amen. 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 The text tells us what's going on. I wish I had a witness in here. He said, in the last days, come on, somebody. That means he was saying to us in here, in this present time, what's going on, the days that we are what? Living in now. Come on, somebody. He said, perilous times shall come. This speaks of the difficult days which Christians are just living before the rapture we encounter. Come on, somebody. Yeah, you know the rapture is on its way. Come on, somebody. You do know things are about to happen in the world, but we really hadn't gotten to the real last days yet. Because if we get to the last days, come on, I want to be caught up in the first half. I miss that. Come on, somebody. I want to be gone in the first half because in the second half, we're going to wish we was gone. Yes. And ain't gonna be able to what? No. The Bible said things gonna be happening around here. You're gonna wish you were dead. Uh -huh. And ain't gonna be able to die. Come on, somebody. Because you're gonna be hiding a rock fall on me. Guess what? And it ain't gonna fall. I wish I had some help in here. But see, I looked at the text prophetess and I began to look at it and I began to say, wow, a lot of these things are going on then, right now. It said for me and for those who call themselves Christian shall be what? Lovers of themselves. You know, there used to be a point of time in our life people had 
a mind frame for other folk. Yes. Yes. But right today, I found out if it's not about them, it's the highway. Come on, talk to me. If it's not about what's going on in their life, if you're not congratulating them, guess what? It's not about nobody else but me, myself, and I. Come on, talk to me here. You know, folk don't care about folk like they used to. Neighbors are not even like neighbors like they used to be. Come on. Back in the day, you could leave your doors open. And the neighbors will watch out for you. Yes, they will. I dare you to leave your door open today. Yeah. Ain't nobody looking and don't nobody know nothing. You're right. I had a break in a few years ago at one of my houses. And my neighbors seen everything that happened. But when I asked her what happened, she said, I ain't seen nothing. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me we don't even have the audacity to help one another no more? No, we don't. Come on, somebody. We don't have the right to come and say, brother, I'm willing to be with you. I told my brother Ron, I said, folk don't have compassion anymore. No, no. Like they used to folk could. You will see people on the street begging or need some help. You will break your neck trying to help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back in the day. Come on, somebody. But when folks see folk that need help today, they'll walk right on past you. Oh, yeah. Like they don't even know see. you or see you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. But back in the day, them people like that came up with our foreparents, they love one another. Yes, oh, yeah. they did. Come on, somebody. If you, you, you were down in your friend's house and they mama called him in for dinner, guess what? She called you in. Yes. And you didn't have to worry about them hurting you. No. Because they gave you what? Something that they gave each other. Yes. But now these days, your kids better not eat at the neighbor's house. Right. No. Come on, somebody, because folk don't love like they used to love. No. Folk don't act like they used to. They all about them. Yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Need somebody. Come on, somebody. Yes. Really need them. Come on, somebody. Need their help and see what they'll do. Mm. Folk don't even want to help nobody. Either. No, they don't. And when you help folk, come on, somebody. They'll try to get over on Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. Y'all don't want to talk to me here. When you try to help for, come on, somebody, they tell you one thing, but end up doing what? A whole other thing. Y'all don't want to talk to me in here. When you, they, say, they say to you, can I do this? Can I borrow this? Can I have this? Can you do this for me and I'll do this for you? Come on. They don't get in the hell and get you back what you gave them like you did for them. Fuck don't treat you like how you treat them. Come on, somebody. Folk don't act like you act towards them. Come on, somebody. They'll do anything and everything to avoid you and to try to get over. Oh, I wish I could. Y'all ain't gonna like me. I'm talking about levels of themselves. Hello, somebody. I let somebody get some money from me. Come on, somebody. And when I pay them the money, come on. And they said, well, Apostle, I'm gonna pay you back in a few days. Come on, somebody. Uh -huh. As soon as they got their money, they said, well, let me do this first. Wait a minute. What if I would have said, let you do, let me do something before I gave you my money? Yeah, that's right. Come on, my money or my situation should be priority because it was priority when you got it. Right. How come it's not priority when it's time to give it? to myself. I said, see God, that's why you can't help folk because when you try to help folk, come on, they try to use you. Yes. Oh, yes, they do. Act like, you know, it ain't nothing to them. Come on, because it's yours. I wish I had a witness. That's what I mean when I say people are lovers of themselves. Yes. Prophet is, I tell you, I got a heart of love for people, but people are starting to make my heart wax cold. Yes. Come on. Oh, I wish I had. Because they think they get away. Come on, somebody. They think they get over, but all the time, I see you. Yes. Because I have a spirit of discernment. Yes. And don't think just because I don't say nothing, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's the problem when you say, say if I hold those feelings, find that time. God don't let us say a lot of things. No, he no. not He just let us sit back. And watch. <laughs> and, and, and see, because he let us know what's the real person eat. Yes. And I come to discover, Bishop, everybody that's hollering, holding, ain't holding. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's it. Everybody that's hollering, 
sanctified and sanctified. Everybody's hollering that they love the Lord. Don't even know. They are lovers of themselves. How do you know? Because look at their life. <laughs> Y'all don't want to talk to them. Look at the life. He said, we'll know them by the fruits that they bear. What kind of fruit are you producing in your life? And nobody going to talk to me. What kind of fruit are they producing? Come on, every time you look around, they in me. Every time you look around, they got they. But they never want to the Bible says it's so it's blessed to give than to what? Receive. Hello, do I got some givers in here? Yeah. Hello, somebody. I like to call it, do I have some sores in here? Come on. Because yeah. harvest time is coming. Yeah. Come on, y'all witness up here. Hey, y'all looking at me quiet this morning, but that's all right. I ain't talking about none of y'all. I hope y'all ain't in here that I'm talking to. But I got to tell you today, people are so in love with themselves. Yeah. They align themselves to operate in all kinds of spirits. Yes, yes. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. He said, he said, should be lovers of their own self covetous. Y'all know what that means. Having a, a showing a great desire to possess something that belongs to somebody else. Mm. You know, people want what you got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But don't understand the hell you had to do to get what you got. Especially when it comes prophets and bishops, when it comes to ministry. Yes. Uh -huh. They don't know the hell we had to go through to have the anointing that's on our life. Right. Oh, y'all miss that. Y'all miss that. Some of y'all don't understand. They don't know the sleepless nights. Come on, somebody. That I had to endure the crying nights. Come on, somebody. The stuff that I had to go through to get to where I'm at now. Folk lying on you. Come on, somebody. Talk about you. Mistreated you. Uh, Scandalize your name. I don't know if y'all been there, but I, I've been there with folk talked about you and didn't even know you. You're right. Folk put the mouth on you. Come on, somebody. Yeah. And don't even know what they were talking about. You're right. Just because somebody said something. Please. Hello, somebody. I wish I had some help in there. I feel this thing this morning. It's a covenant. Boasters. Boasters means they boasting about stuff that, guess what? You don't even need to be boasting about because guess what? God is the source and the supplier of everything we need. Mm -hmm. So why boast about myself like I did something? Yeah. I ain't did nothing. Come on, somebody. If it wasn't for God helping me get to where I am today, guess what? I wouldn't be here today. Yes. That's it. So when I boast, guess what? I boast about what God has done for me. And, and prophetess, I wonder sometimes when you tell folk about the goodness of God, they get mad at you. They get mad. They get That's it. Yes, Lord. Oh, they talking about what, what they got. That material. That's material. But God gave it to me. Yes. Why I can't tell folk what God will do for you? Yes, right. If you do for him what he tells you to do. I come to reality. Guess what? Everybody ain't for you. Yes, Lord. That's it. Everybody ain't for you. They smile in your face. <laughs> Come on, somebody. They grin and tell you, brother and sister, I'm praying with you, but they be the main one praying on you. Oh, I, I, I ain't got no help in here. Y'all ain't been there like me. They be the main ones stabbing you in your back. He said being proud. You know, a lot of folks just proud like they don't made it by themselves. Come on somebody like they did it all by themselves. No, if it wasn't for God a lot of us wouldn't be where we are today. That's it, right? Y'all missed it. Yeah, miss come it. on. Hallelujah! A lot of us, come on, come on. If, if God would have pulled us out of that Hallelujah. Play, that horrible pit, come on somebody, where would we be today? Come on, right. we were all good. Come on, talk to me in here. We had some messed up ways. You're right. Ain't nobody gonna Come say on, that. Come on, we did some messed up things. Come on, somebody. And God had to reach way down uh -huh. and pick us up. You're right. And some yeah. folks still in a messed up situation. Come on, I wish I had some help in here. He says here, proud. What else is that? Blasphemers. Come on, somebody. Blasphemer. What that mean? That mean you're blaspheming. You're lying on what? The Holy Ghost. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. God said this. And the Lord, when God don't even talk to some of them. Ah, yeah, God. <laughs> Bishop, and, and I'm glad they ain't here. Bishop and, and prophets here, they, they know what I'm talking about. So quick to say what God said. Yeah. I told you such things. They quit to say, well, I heard, why you always hearing from God for me? Oh. When I got a relationship with God, my own self. Yeah. I used to have a cousin like that. Every time he sees me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you what God said. <laughs> Every time, I ain't even get a chance to say hello. <laughs> Let me tell you what God said. Man, shut up. <laughs> Every time you see me, God ain't talking to you about me. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what God said to tell you. Be quiet. <laughs> Some folk just need the word. Be quiet. Listen. The word says study to what? Be quiet. Some folk just bad, talk, bad, bad. talk all the time. You got to learn how to listen. And the problem with a lot of folk in the church, everybody got a revelation. Mm. My, my. Everybody got, no, and, and this is it, prophet. Can I help you, prophet? This is Everybody got a new revelation. Yeah, somebody, somebody. <laughs> my, 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 my. I, I, I got a new revelation. What, what new revelation you got? He said, my word is the same. It changes not. Come on, somebody. How you got a new revelation that nobody else got? You're right. God ain't just talking to you. See, that's how you know when folk are in the same connection, talking to the same God, because guess what? We on the same accord. That's it. I hear what you hear. Hello, you hear what I hear. Come on, somebody. And so guess what? It comes what? Together. Together. But it looked like, can I, can I really preach like I want to preach this morning? Prophet is a bishop. Preach it looked like it's so many of us, but we all on different accords. Preach you over here. Preach they over there. We over here. And everybody is what? Preach up, preach up, preach. The church is what? Separate. The people of God are what? Separate. Ain't none of us together. They think they're better than you because they got five more members than you. They think they're better than you because all they members speak in tongues. They think they better because they know how to prophesy. No, he said we ought to be what? Together because we what? Are the soul of the earth. That means we got to be in what? Unity. Y'all missed it. Y'all missed it. And that's why, can I help us really? Can I help us really? That's why our world is under attack. It's because the leaders don't know which way to go. Oh, I'm talking to him. Y'all ain't got to say man. The leaders, the leaders, they all over the place. Some want to open church. Some want to close the church. Some want to do this. Some want to do that. I said, man, how in the world? Can the world operate without the house of God being in operation? Y'all right. missed it. Y'all missed it. I had a prophet. I, I hate to put people in now. Prophet, so Sharon, Prophet Sharon, I had a prophet lady. She tell me, she told me, she said, uh -huh. she said, God said it ain't time for the church to be open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, really? <laughs> it ain't what? But it's time for the liquor store to be open. Oh, hello. It's time for the job that you go to every day. It's time to be. Why would God allow everything to be open but his house? Yes. Am, I, am I happy y'all today? I couldn't understand this lady. She said, me and three other prophets, we've been praying. Come on. And God said, it's not time for his church to be open. Mm -hmm. my, 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 my. But I can remind you. Back in the Bible days, when all these plaques and diseases was coming, they were still worshiping God. They ran to the church. What you say? They ran to the They ran to the church for what? Healing and deliverance. Come on, somebody. Now, if you can run everywhere else, why you can't run to the house of God that's open for you to come? Why? Because a lot of us have been fooled by the enemy and shut the doors. Come on, somebody. But the doors need to be open when they Because you need to be able to come and get set free. Come on, the text says here, 
It said false. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't jump so far. Disobedience to parents. Come on now. Now you know that's what's wrong with our children. You know, when we was growing up, we knew not to be disobedient. Because uh -huh. mama put that thing on your back in. Yes. They showed us. We we knew what punishment was. Come on, somebody. And see, these days, kids don't know nothing about punishment. Come on, somebody. Our mama took the two from us. Come on, somebody. Our mama took stuff from us. She didn't put stuff in front of us to occupy us. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. She took time to uh, occupy our time herself. Come on. We got in that room and did that homework. Y'all talk to me here. We got in there and cleaned our room. These kids don't know how to clean room. You look at them and say, take the garbage out. What that is? What you mean, what that is? Clean your room up. How you do that? But put them in front of a computer. Yes. They can do more than you can ever imagine. Uh, yes, Why? Because the way of training has changed. Yes. The Bible says whooping don't kill nobody. It said train up a child in the way they should go. When they're old, they should not depart from them. That's why I said, what, uh, uh, spare the rod, spoil the child? Mm -hmm. My mom believed in spare that rod. Mm -hmm. She beat me a minute to be. Come on, somebody. And she drugged me. Come on, somebody. What you mean? She drugged my little book to church. Come on, somebody. And sent me in there so I could hear what the word of God was saying to the church. But now, folks, they, they go to church and their kids at home. He ain't got to go today. That's all right. They, they ain't gonna, it ain't going to hurt them. Yes, it is. That's why we got so much trouble and crime in our neighborhoods because we too busy making an excuse for our children. Yes. Come on, somebody. Our parents, come on, uh, um, probably sure. Our parents didn't make no excuse for us. Uh -huh. We better been in the car before they made it. Yes. Uh -huh. Y'all missed that. We better been in that car before when Miss Pat got ready to come out the house. We had to be at the car. Talking about lacking around, last one all oh, it wasn't nothing like this. She was the last one closed in though. We knew better. And we got the church. We knew how to act. Yes. Come on, my daughter, when I was raising, my daughter 11 years old, I promise you, Bishop, when I was raising my daughter, I've been preaching since I was 15. When I was raising my daughter, she would sit there on that front row and wouldn't move. And the church was out. And she was two or three years old then. Because I'd get her in church and say, hey, you're going to sit down and don't move. But now parents, kids running all over the church, drinking all over the church, and they just sitting there looking like it's funny. My, 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 my. And just looking like it's okay. Come on, somebody. It's all right. No, you got to train them up. Yes. My, my. You go other places, come on. You're going to make sure they don't embarrass you. Right. Why do you think church is a different place? This ain't a place to play. Yes, right. A lot of folks think church is a, a social club now because they want to do what they want. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. But this is what? Holy ground. Oh, I wish I had some help with him. Amen. It says here, disobedient parent, unthankful. You know, a lot of folks just ain't thankful. A lot of kids, they ain't thankful. Come on, somebody. They ain't thankful. They don't thank, be thankful for nothing. Come on. I'm thankful every day that I get up in the morning. Thank you, Lord. Because guess what? I realize that there's some people that are not getting up. I'm thankful every day that I got my health and strength. Thank you, Lord. I've got all the activities Thank of my limbs. Come on, somebody. I'm thankful that I'm able to go to a job. Come on, somebody. I'm thankful the day that my wife is able to work. Come on. you got some people that are not able to do nothing. Come on, somebody. And we got the audacity to be unthankful. Unholy, come on somebody. I mean being just holy means just being set apart. Come on, somebody. You got a lot of folk that's in the church that just straight up unholy. Yes, sir. Yes, How you gonna come to church drunk? Yeah. How you gonna come to church high as a cut? How you gonna come in there to God's house and disrespect the house yes, of God? Right. That's called unholy. Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. right. Thank you, God. A lot of times we got to we understand that, hey, it's some people that's going to come like that, but come on, folk that should know better should do what? Do better. That's right. That's right. That's right, Bishop. That's right. They should do better. They need to 
mad at the pastor when he say something to you. He just trying to what? Help you. Or she just trying to help you. But how you in position that you come to church any kind of way? I better leave that alone. Come on. Verse 3 says, without natural affection. Folks just don't have no affection. Come on, you know, some things is just right to say thank you. <laughs> Grandma always told me when somebody nice to you, come on somebody, you be nice to them by telling them thank you when somebody gives you something. Come on somebody, you ought to just be in gratitude to say, I'm thanking you for what you're giving me because you didn't have to give it to me. People don't have to be nice. Right. Come on somebody, yeah. people don't have to be nice to you. That's not a part of the credentials. Come on somebody, but people are just naturally born nice. He said they what? Unnaturally. Come on. Unnaturally. Without natural affection. People do not even have affection towards one another. Come on, somebody. I remember back in the day when one fell, it was a saint's job to hear what? Pick them back up. Yes. So they what? Return to their place. Come on. We'd rather talk about you than to help you. You're right. Come on, somebody. Yes. If I fall, come on, somebody. It's the saint's job to do what? Pray yes. somebody. Help me back to hold me up until guess what? I get myself together. Yes. Hello, we need the prayers of what? Of the righteous folk. Come on, somebody. Amen. The church ain't praying no more. Everybody pulling their fingers, you know, talking about folk. We had a situation last week when they were. They was up here singing. The young lady recorded them up here singing. They called a musician, uh, uh, Gerald Levert. And she pulled in a preacher recording them and all on Facebook talking about we got a journal of hurt in all churches. How you the woman of God and you talking about the man of God and making a uh, company of the church? Yes. Oh, oh y'all don't want to talk oh, to me. Man. This happened this week. And all the church folk, that's all you see on the paper, preachers and all different, these young preachers, that's what they hear. They all on there laugh, ha, ha, ha. Hey, if I was in that church, this and them, I'd been falling out in the floor. But this is what we put up with. Yes. People are without natural affection. The Bible says truth breakers, amen. Yes. That's one who violates a truth. A covenant or engagement. Come on, somebody. You got folk that are violate what? They truth the covenant. Our covenant is to be what? With God. Come on, somebody. Do you have a covenant with God today? Amen. Amen. It's a false accuser. You know, I don't know about y'all, but I've been false accused in my life. You got false accusers in the day that would just publicly just lie you for no reason. They don't even know you, Bishop, but they'll lie on you. They'll put your name out there. Come on, somebody. they talk about you and have no idea the heart of who you are. Mm -hmm. Man, talking here, Apostle. I'm closing. I know I'm boring y'all this morning. Amen. Amen. He said, he said, false accusers, incontent. Amen. Incontent means lack. Control. A lot of folks can't even control themselves. Got a lack of control spiritually, mentally, and physically. Come on, somebody. They just got, don't have no control over themselves. Men and women. Come on, somebody. How do you come to church to go? Yes. Y'all won't talk to me. Let, me. let me keep going. How, how you come to church looking at the pastor, looking at the prophetess? Come on, somebody. You got to have your mind on Jesus. That's right. <laughs> Come here, come on, somebody, to be looking at who looks good. That's right. I came here. Is there a word? Hey, friends. Charles Matthews here again. They're broadcasting here at KPTV. Listen, I'll bless about that broadcast. How about you? In fact, they need your financial support in order to continue to spread the gospel of Christ around the entire globe. Now, there are several ways you can do that. Number one, if you're watching by your computer, just click on the donate button. Find the flyer, click on the flyer, and give it away that they receive. Number two, if you watch with your mobile device, click on the three buttons, find the flyer, and do likewise as option one. And finally, if you watch it on platforms such as Amazon, Roku, or those kind of platforms, just simply download our KPTV app and give in that way. Listen, either way you give, God will bless you and you doing so. So thank you again watch KB TV and remember we are TV with a purpose God bless you